Hello, welcome to the channel and to the video. If you're a beginner in FreeCAD, this video is for you. In this video, you will learn how to use tools of part-time and sketch a workbench to design this simple 3D model as you see on the screen. I am assuming that you have the FreeCAD 1.0 version installed in your computer and also that you defined the basic configurations of the FreeCAD program on the free start setup page of FreeCAD. As you see, I'm using the English language for the FreeCAD program. My unit system is standard and my navigation style is gesture. And I'm using the FreeCAD Classic Dam. You can use FreeCAD Lite, no problem. When you press done, you see the start page here. On the start page of FreeCAD, in the new file section, let's start our parametric part using the part-time workbench. Press this option and a new document with a part sign body object will be created. This body object will store all information related to the 3D model creation. The part sign workbench is the main 3D modeling workbench of FreeCAD. And these are the tools of part sign workbench. In this video, we combine tools of part sign and sketch a workbench to build our 3D model. If you click here on the workbench selector, we can see this list of workbenches available in our FreeCAD program. As you see, here we have the sketch workbench and here we have the part sign workbench. Let's save this document. To save this document, we have to go to these tools here. As you see, here we have the new file icon, we have the open document icon, and here we have the save icon. Click here on this icon to save the document. Let's save this document as model for beginners and enter to save this. And let's start building the 3D model. Let's start by creating this base here, this base shape here. To create this, we'll need a sketch and to use the extrusion tool to create a solid. Let's go to our document and the first thing to do is to create a sketch on the XY plane, the top plane, as you see here. To create a sketch, we we'll have to click on this icon here, create sketch icon, and then select the plane for the sketch. As you see, we have three planes here. We have the XY, we have the YZ plane and the XZ plane. And the correct plane for our free sketch is the XY plane. So click here. And now we have these, as you can see. Here we're on the sketch of workbench, as you see here on the workbench selector. And these all are the tools of sketch workbench. Here we have the uh, sketch geometry tools, we have the sketch constraints tools, and these tools here. Let's create a rectangle with rounded corners. To do that, we have to go to the sketch geometries and then click on this arrow, and we have to select the centered rectangle option. This will allow us to create a rectangle on the origin axis. So select this option and on this task panel, check this option to run the corners of the rectangle. Check this option and then click on the origin axis and here we have this. Okay, here we have the rectangle. Now it's time to set the dimensions of this rectangle. Let's see on the string page the dimensions of this rectangle. As you can see, we have 100 here, and this uh, this geometry it seems uh, square. So we'll set 100 millimeters enter and 100 millimeters enter. And now we have to set the radius of the rounded corners. As we see here, is 15 millimeters. So set this dimension and enter. And now we can see that this geometry, these lines of these geometries is green. The color is green. If we skip this tool, we can see here on the test panel, so meters that this sketch is full constrained. It means that we can close this sketch, no problems. And to close this sketch, we have this button, we have this icon here, and also we can press ask two times to leave this sketch. These tools here is for adding material to the document, and these tools here is for subtracting material on the solid. Okay, so to create an extrusion of this sketch, we have to select this tool here, pad tool. And the length of this extrusion must be five millimeters as we see here. Let's say five and press enter to finish this operation. And here we have our first shape. This is the first solid. 
The next step now is to create a fillet as we see here. The size of this fillet is one millimeter. And to do that, we have two ways. We can select this face here, rotate the model and select this face here and then press fillet tool. Or we can cancel the selection and select this edge and control this edge and then select fillet tool to create the fillet. As you can see, we have one millimeter here by default. So what I have to do is to press OK to finish the operation. And here we have the second operation done. Now, the next step is to create this shape here. To create the shape, we'll need to use a sketch and then the extrusion tool to create a solid. But now this time, instead of creating the sketch on the XY plane, we can select this face here and create the sketch on the face. Select the face and then click on the create sketch icon. And here we have this. We are the sketch workbench as you see. Let's create another rectangle for this shape here. Go to sketch jumps and select center rectangle. Now this time we don't need to check the rounded corners as we see here on this 3D model. So let's create a rectangle on the origin axis and set the dimensions. Just click off and to set the dimensions, select the dimension tool and then click on this line here. Click off. As you can see, we have 55 millimeters. This geometry, it looks like a square. So let's say 55 millimeters and then select this line and click off and set 55 and here we have the square. Skip two times to leave the sketch and now let's create the shape. Select pet tool, say 8 millimeters and then press enter to finish this. And here we have this. We are adding material to the document. Okay. So the next step now is to create is to create one of these shapes here. Let's create this shape here. To create this shape, we'll create a sketch on this face here. To do that, we have first to select the face and then click on the create sketch icon. Now it's time to create a geometry for this shape here. Let's change to the front view and we can see this. So we'll create a triangle geometry. Let's go to the document, select the external geometry tool, this tool here, and then extract this edge, and now this edge here, and we have this. As we can see, we can see clearly this edge here. This happens because we are working on the full view. Let's change to the session view, just press this icon, and now we can clearly see this. Now go to sketch geometry, this tool here, and select all line tool. Now zoom in here, click on this point and now on this point here and as you can see we have a vertical line. Now create a horizontal line as you see here. As you can see we have this icon here. This means that this line here is a horizontal line. Now let's close this geometry, click on this point here. As you can see in the solver images, we have one degree of freedom. So this means that this sketch is not full constrained. Skip this tool, skip this tool and now select this point and drag this point to here. Now zoom in and it's time to set the distance from this point to this edge. If we go to the 3D model drawing page, we can see that we have a distance of one millimeter here. Okay, from this point to this edge. So what you do, select dimension tool and then click on this point and now on this edge and create a horizontal distance of one millimeter and then press enter. And here we have this. And as you can see, the color of this lens is now green. It means that now this sketch is full constrained. Close this sketch and choose pet tool create an extrusion. Here we have to set reverse it on the test panel for this operation. Check reverse it and change the length to 5 millimeters and then press OK. And here we have this as you can see. Now that we have this shape here, it's time to create another shape. Let's create this shape here and then we'll use the two operations to create another shapes. 
let's do that go to our document and what you do here to select this face and then create sketch icon switch to the session view by pressing this icon okay and now select external drum tool extra this edge zoom in and extra this edge also okay next select pollen tool and start the line here on this point and now click on this point create a horizontal line and now close this geometry here on this point skip this tool and now track this point and next select dimension tool and then click on this edge and now in this point here and create a horizontal distance of one millimeter and this sketch is full constrained skip two times to leave this sketch and then select pet tool to extrude this sketch set reverse it here checking this option and change the length to five millimeters and then press ok and here we have this okay now that we have these two shapes here we can create a polar array of these two shapes to create another shapes on these edges to do that we have to go to the model tip click here and then select this pad operation and now control select this pad and then select polar pattern tool this tool here as you can see we have some failures here and this happens because the axis of this operation is not correct if we go to the task panel in the axis and change to the correct ones which is z axis as you can see we have this now if we rotate the model we can see that we have two occurrence of these two shapes okay so we have to change here to full and we have this as you can see now now press ok and we finish the process of adding material to the document now it's time to remove material in the solid to do that we'll use these tools here of part designer bench with a combination of the sketcher tools okay so the first thing that we'll do is to create a pocket here on this shape like we see here okay so let's do that select this face here and then let's create a sketch on this face pressing create sketch icon and here what i have to do is to create a square so go to the sketch uh, geometries and select center rectangle and then click on this origin axis and now set 45 millimeters by 45 millimeters for this square and here we have this skip two times to leave this sketch and then select pocket tool to create a pocket change to 8 and then press enter and here we have this as you can see now it's time to create small holes on this base shape here like we see here okay we have to create four holes to do that we'll create a sketch on the base shape so select this face for example and create a sketch switch to the session view to place the circular geometries for the holes we'll use some techniques here let's first change these geometries to construction geometries pressing this icon and next use the centered rectangle tool to create a rectangle a square as you can see on the top view we have 70 millimeters by 70 millimeters for the distance of these holes so let's set 7 by 7 for this square and we have this now skip this tool and choose to hide these all constraints and then change to normal geometries here and select cycle tool now create four cycles on the points of this square okay here we have this now skip this tool and select these two cycles and now these two cycles now we have four cycles selected and with this selection we'll set the diameter of these all cycles by going to dimension click on this arrow to expand and select constraint diameter and here we must change to 15 millimeters no 10 millimeters now lift the sketch pressing this icon and select pocket tool to create the holes press ok and it's all as you can see here we have the holes now the next thing that we have to do is to create these holes here as you can see and the way to do that is to create a sketch and one of these face here of this shape 
Let's select this face here and then create a sketch. And here we'll use the same technique we used it before. Let's change here to construction geometries and switch to the session view by pressing this icon. And now select the line tool and create a line here, a vertical line in this way. Next, select the dimension tool and now click on this line, click off, and let's set a length of 6 millimeters. As you see here, the distance of these two cycles. Set 60. Okay, and now choose point tool and create a point on the uh, mid. Okay, as you can see here, I have a symmetric icon, which means that this point here will be created on the center of this line. So I click here and as you can see, I have this. Now skip this tool and select external jump tool. What I have to do here is to extract this edge and then select dimension tool again and now click on this edge and now on this point and click off here and we must set a distance of 15 millimeters. Set 15 and enter. And now as you can see, we have this distance here, 40 millimeters for the center point to this edge. So what I have to do is to click on this point and now on this point here and create a vertical distance of 40 millimeters and enter. And this sketch is full constrained. Now, hide this all constraints here and change to normal geometries and select change to normal geometries and select cycle tool. Zoom in here, create a cycle on this point and another cycle on this midpoint and another cycle on this end point. Skip this tool and now select these three cycles and then click here and select constraint diameter. And now we have to set six millimeters for these cycle geometries. Press enter, skip two times and select pocket tool to create the holes. Press OK and here we have this. Okay. Now the next operation that we'll do is to mirror these holes on the side and then create a polar array of the six holes on this shape. To do that, we'll use the Mool Transform tool. So go to the model and select the pocket operation, this last operation, and then select Mool Transform tool of part-time workbench. Just click on this icon and on this task panel, go to Mool Transform parameters, go to transformations, right click here and select mirror transformation. And as you can see, here I have these holes mirrored on the side here. Press OK and now right click on the mouse and select polar pattern operation. And now what to do here, press home on your keyboard and go to the task panel, scroll down here to axis, change to Z axis and change the occurrence to 4. OK, and now press OK here scroll up and press OK. And here we have these all holes as you can see. And this is the final model. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. If you want to support the content of this channel, you can do that. Just go to the video description and you'll find a link to the channel's Hi-Fi page. Or you can buy the ebooks that is appearing on the screen now. The drawing page of this 3D model you can find in the ebook 200 3D drawing exercise for FreeCAD 1.0. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.